Today we will be focusing on autofocus settings for your camera and so supercharge it. So I'm going to share with you some of the autofocus settings I use professionally. My experience of using this amazing camera, the Canon R6, for the better of a year now, both for videography and photography, and lately professionally has just been amazing. It has crazy good eye tracking for both humans and for animals. It also has really good autofocus settings for moving vehicles. And I would say the overall autofocus uh, functionality of the Canon R6 and the Canon R5 are just really, really, really good. Especially with the settings I'm about to share with you. When we use a camera in its sort of standard functionality, and you're probably familiar with it because most cameras work this way, when we press the trigger, halfway we engage autofocus and we actually need to change this and when I show you how this will influence your camera you're gonna wish you knew about this sooner and you will probably like me never go back to using anything but these settings I'm about to share with you so make sure you stay to the end the first thing we are going to do is actually to unassign the autofocus functionality from the photo button. And we're gonna move this functionality, the autofocus functionality, to the back of the camera to this button, the AF on button. And this is something that's known to back button autofocus. And something that you can do on most professional cameras and especially for the Canon R6 and the R5. But that's not all. We're actually gonna supercharge the back button autofocus functionality and split the functionality to two buttons. So it's gonna be a two button back button autofocus. And I dare you to say that really fast. Two button back button autofocus. The first step is to open the camera menu. So let us do that together. You can scroll almost all the way to the right to menu number six. It's the orange menu. Then you scroll to tab three and on line three, you find customize buttons. Just press that and pick the right option, the AE lock. This is going to unassign the autofocus from the button and turn it into a regular trigger, but with exposure lock. And that's the pro way to do it. Next, we are going to scroll until we have activated our AF on button. And we are going to set it to AF on. This is actually super helpful because now we have a better way of deciding and controlling when we want autofocus and when we want to take pictures. But we also sort of kept the functionality of when we want exposure lock and when we want autofocus and when we want to take pictures. Halfway exposure lock, full way taking pictures while pressing the thumb to keep autofocus engaged. Next, we're hopping into the autofocus menu. This will be the purple menu or camera menu two. And on tab one, you will find AF operations. Here we are switching the AF operation to servo. This will ensure that we engage the autofocus engine while pressing autofocus button. In short, continuous autofocus, but only when we decide. Therefore, we will also turn off the continuous autofocus for this very reason. Regular continuous autofocus is fairly annoying, very confusing, and it will drain your batteries much faster. Before you roast me for not covering regular spot focus, we actually had this, because by Pressing the AF on button just once, we have engaged the autofocus, but only once, which means we have actually just done spot focus. And if we keep the button pressed, we have autofocus, but continuous. Isn't that great? But we're not done. We're actually gonna add some magic to this functionality and to supercharge the autofocus settings for your camera. And to do this, we're actually gonna do something that might feel a little bit counterintuitive, because we're actually gonna move the standard autofocus settings in the menu to be spot focus and not eye tracking focus. Now you might be thinking, what the hell did he just suggest? Are we going to turn this amazing piece of equipment that we have bought that is really expensive, that has world renowned eye tracking focus and turn it into regular spot focus? Don't worry, this is gonna make sense in just a second. Cause now we're moving back into the menu to make sense of all of this and to add a little bit of magic. Scroll until you have activated the star button. Activate and assign eye tracking to it. Did you just feel your pulse increasing just a little bit? Yes, it's gonna be just that great. Now when we press the autofocus, we both have spot focus, four moving objects, 
for locking focus in the frame, as well as we can engage the super, super charged eye tracking focus of the Canon R6. Because now, if you press this button, spot focus. When you press this button, eye tracking focus. So let's take an example. I'm doing street photography and I want to sort of lock focus on, uh, let's say, a bus stop. So I can just take my camera, I keep my thumb pressed on the AF on, and I have locked focus. And as soon as someone walks into the frame, I can snap the photo. Or if I see someone walking close to me and say, oh, this is a person I want to take a photo of. Then I just move my thumb one centimeter to the star menu and I start to press that. And suddenly I tell the camera, now it's time to do eye tracking focus. When I found out about this, I was like, this is insane. How can I do this? And I was actually a professional event photographer yesterday. I used this for throughout the events. I took about seven, eight hundred photos and the autofocus didn't fail me one single time. If you are as excited as I am obviously am to, to sort of find this out and I really hope to see you try it, uh, please tell me in the comments. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so as well. It would mean the world. I hope to see you in any of these video or at the best in the next one. Until then, bye bye. Hey do. Thank mm -hmm. you.